This is our 40 watt CO2 laser power supply. We have these 40 watt laser tube power supplies in the 110 and 220 input voltage varieties. The power supply comes with a fan that provides for the cooling. There are two banks of terminals, a test firing button for firing the laser to test the laser output, connection for the laser high tension line. The first bank of terminals are dedicated to the input for the power from the wall, from the mains, and the high tension return line. The first terminal is the high tension return line that is connected to the tube. And the next one is a earth ground from the mains. The last two are for the AC neutral and live in no particular order. The second bank of terminals is the digital side that controls the power supply, which controls the laser output. And the first terminal is the five volt input. This provides the five volts for digital level power. There's an input and you can put in a potentiometer or a PWM signal, pulse width modulation. And what that does is it controls the intensity of the laser power during operation. A potentiometer is more of a manual approach to changing intensity and the potentiometer's wiper, which is the center lead, will be inserted in this input and it will vary the voltage between the ground and the 5 volts. So this signal here would be an analog signal between 0 and 5 volts or it will have a digital pulse width modulation which does the same thing. It varies the voltage between 0 and and 5 volts. The next terminal is the ground terminal, which is the digital level ground coming from the controller. From the controller you can see that there is a PWM output, there's also a DC 5 volts, and then there is a ground. And those will be connected to the terminal of the power supply. The next terminal is the water protect or a signal that will power off the laser in case of a water leak or some other sensing that the laser may not be operating at, in a safe condition. If you apply 5 volts to this terminal, the laser will turn off. Typically, the water protect or the protect terminal is connected directly to ground if you don't have a device or a sensing capability to provide 5 volts here during a fault condition. The next one is a trigger low. This will trigger the laser if there is a ground or low signal here, which comes directly from the laser controller. TTL, which is triggering on a low signal. You'll also see that there is a water protect signal here that can be connected directly to the, the protect terminal on the power supply. You also have a trigger high signal. So you can actually trigger the laser if a high signal is applied to this terminal. This one doesn't have to be connected unless your controller or your method requires triggering on a high signal. The power supply also contains a test test button to test the functionality of the power supply when it is connected to the to the laser tube and the laser tube has power